based on meaning sentences can be of various kinds they can be declarative or assertive exclamatory imperative or interrogative now a sentence can be transformed from one type to another without changing its meaning so today we are going to learn how we can transform a declarative or assertive sentence to an interrogative sentence without changing the meaning we are also going to learn to do the opposite that is change the interrogative sentence to an assertive sentence before we start doing that let us quickly recollect their features so an assertive sentence makes a simple statement or states a fact or an opinion it ends with a full stop whereas an interrogative sentence asks a question and ends with a question mark you should have consulted a doctor now this is an assertive sentence which is showing a suggestion or an opinion so how will we write this sentence as an interrogative sentence we will write it as should you not have consulted a doctor so what are we actually doing here we have actually interchanged the position of the modal should and you the subject so the positions of the subject and the modal are interchanged then we have included not now this not actually helps us to retain the meaning of the assertive sentence and the interrogative sentence let us see how now if we would have not included the not and written the sentence as should you have consulted a doctor then this would not show a suggestion or an opinion it would be a direct question which is different from the original sentence which is showing as a suggestion or an opinion so this would not have been correct so a correct interrogative sentence is should you not have consulted a doctor now since our statement here has been transformed into a question you will notice that we have replaced the full stop with the question mark there can be no place more comforting than home now this is an assertive sentence and how will we write this sentence as an interrogative sentence we will write it as can there be any place more comforting than home so what have we actually done here we have interchanged the position of there and can to get can there and no which is there in our original assertive sentence has been dropped and we have included any so no place has been changed to any place and we have can there be any place more comforting than home and this sentence has been turned into a question so we have ended it with a question mark now this question is known as a rhetorical question so what is a rhetorical question a rhetorical question does not actually expect an answer but is actually trying to drive a point across now what is this rhetorical question trying to say now it is not really expecting an answer but it is trying to emphasize that there can be no place more comforting than home i told him to practice regularly now this sentence is an assertive sentence without any auxiliary verb so we will write an interrogative sentence as did i not tell him to practice regularly so what have we done here now our original sentence does not have any auxiliary verb so we will introduce the past tense form of the do verb did and why the past tense form because we have told which is in the past tense in the original sentence so we use did then we put the subject i then we introduce not 
to keep the meaning of the sentence same in the interrogative form and then we use the base verb tell because you already know that after the auxiliary do verb we use the main verb in its base form so we have the interrogative sentence did i not tell him to practice regularly everybody hates junk food so how will we write this in the interrogative form we will write it as who does not hate junk food so what have we done here everybody has been replaced by who and we have included does because hates is in the present tense form so we have included does because our original sentence has no auxiliary verb then we have included not and then the verb in its base form hate so we have who does not hate junk food i hope you are also taking a note of the fact that every interrogative sentence is being finished with a question mark now that you have learned how we can change an assertive sentence into an interrogative sentence without changing its meaning let us do this exercise transform the following sentence from assertive to interrogative everybody has been affected by the recent hike in fuel prices so what will our interrogative sentence look like it will be who has not been affected by the recent hike in fuel prices so what have we actually done here we have replaced everybody with who and we have introduced not to keep the meaning of the sentence same in its interrogative form so we have who has not been affected by the recent hike in fuel prices let us now learn to do the opposite that is change an interrogative sentence to its assertive form who does not know her now this question is a rhetorical question so who does not know her is the same as saying everyone knows her so what have we actually done here we have replaced who with everyone you can also write everybody and does know is the same as saying knows and we have not included not so it is everyone knows her now you will note that since this question has been changed to a statement we have change the question mark to a full stop will its glory ever fade now this is another example of a rhetorical question and how will we write it in the assertive form we will write it as its glory will never fade and what are we doing here here what is our subject our subject is its glory so when we have sentences like this which start with will in the assertive form the subject will be in the beginning of the sentence so we have its glory then will ever fade has been replaced by will never fade so here instead of using not we have used the negative word never so will its glory ever fade is the same as saying its glory will never fade why waste time in such silly arguments now this is an interrogative question which if you read carefully you'll realize that this question is actually giving an opinion now how will we change this to an assertive sentence we can write it as it is pointless to waste time in such silly arguments so what have we done here why waste time has been replaced with it is pointless to waste time now let us try to do this exercise transform the following sentence from interrogative to assertive the sentence given to us is is it not bad manners not to respond to someone's invite 
Now, this interrogative sentence has two negative words, not, not. So, how will we write this in the assertive form? We will write it as, it is bad manners not to respond to someone's invite. So, what are we actually doing here? We are omitting one not to make the meaning of the sentence same. So, is it has been changed to it is, the position is reversed. So, we have it is bad manners not to respond to someone's invite. Now, you could have also kept the first knot and omitted the second knot. In that case, your sentence would have been, it is not bad manners to respond to someone's invite. That would also be a correct sentence. So, what did we learn today? Today, we have learned several ways of transforming an assertive sentence to an interrogative sentence and vice versa without changing the meaning. I hope you found this interesting and all that you have to do is take up as many examples as you can, practice them and be perfect in no time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.